This whole area here is all fucked and it's bubbling, probably because of water under it. Uh, you can sort of see the bubble where it's cut. It's a little wider right here than it is up here, coming out this way. So we're going to scored it all the way around with a razor knife and then I'm going to scrape it all out like I did here presto patch it and paint it again As you can see right here this is why it's failing barely any pressure on it and it's digging it out this is why it was bubbling out it's because whatever this is that was put right here to fix the wall was not applied properly or it wasn't the right thing or whatever I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure but that's why it's failing right there is because of this so that's why we've got to do this so got this chiseled down here this patch turns out this wasn't needed over here it wasn't bubbling enough and it was still sticking so I'm gonna leave that but this whole chiseled off this is pretty much garbage all this stuff came off really easily I don't know why they did it like that or how it became like that but you can see why they did it why they actually patched this is a big old crack going right up right here uh, it's probably from right here the water going down under this part right here going all the way down through this and uh, it's pretty shitty but now that it's flat with the paint, I can put some Presto patch on it and then slowly scrape it down to be smooth with this surface right here. And then we can paint it. So I just got the Presto patch on. You want to make sure you load that shit up as much as you fucking can. You want it to be higher than the thing you put it on trying to get it flat. So if you look at it from right here, you can see it sticks out a little bit, which is good because what you want to do is you want to put it on so much that it covers everything and then later when it's actually dry because this shit dries quicker than shit then you chisel it down to be flat with the surrounding area um, I probably could have avoided that right there that was a bit of a mistake in that too um, and then after you apply it on you definitely want to rag off your fucking putty knife because oh my gosh this stuff is a nightmare to get off anything you probably don't want to put this in a bucket either. Use a disposable container like that. That way you don't have to throw away a bucket because, oh my god, this stuff is such a nightmare to clean up. But it's it dries harder than a rock when it's done. So it's really good for shit like this. So, press the patch is all dry now. Um, you, you can see here where there are some spots that are, uh, they got like missing paint right here and the presser patch didn't stick to that and that makes sense. Uh, the presser patch will only want to stick to places that are reasonably wide. Um, as you can see here, try to focus it a little better. Doesn't want to. There we go. So right around here, that's pretty much flat in line with the wall. What you want to do after you apply it and it's all dry, when you over apply it and you fan it out like that and you make it go all the way around the thing, what it does is it fills the edges of the gap that you had. And then when you chisel it off, big pieces will come off. And then once you start getting real close to that edge, it'll stop and you'll hit this. And what's happening is you're going from really thin layers right here to a thicker layer and you'll cut it and it'll shave it right at the edge and then when you start shaving it like this with whatever you're doing I'm using a 5-in-1 or a 10-in-1 if you want to be really specific what'll happen is you'll have this edge here and then you can start shaving it down to be flat with that edge it does the same thing here I'm gonna see if I can get some big chunks off if you can see there my 5-in-1's digging right there and you can see if you look close it's thick there, but there's an edge right above that lip. That's where the edge was that I cut out. So I can cut it off, and now there's a lip that I can shave down a little bit and slowly flatten out. It's starting to flatten out right there. Some more here. Got 
going to have to hit that a little more. But that's pretty much what you want to do. There's another lip right here. Over here. I got all, all the really big pieces off already, pretty much. I'm try to get some more. I don't know if there's any left. I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. But you'll know when there's a big piece that isn't sticking to any of the edges because it'll come off in chunks that look like this. And these uh, these don't stick to anything and they'll just they'll come off super easy. But you just want to keep shaving. Keep shaving until it's all flat like this. It's super smooth around these edges now. And you just make it flat so it doesn't feel like a bubble and it feels like the rest of the wall. Looks pretty fucking neato. It's still drying. It looks pretty good. Nice and flat. The only thing I don't like is those little marks. But it fucking matches the rest of the wall because there's marks on the wall like right here. There's marks like that. It looks just like another part of the wall. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but like the rest of the wall is pretty much the same. It looks really similar. Did you see the, did you see the other side of that uh, fountain wall? 